Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and the topic is renal arteriography, you know, so what is this? Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. Excuse me, and if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, uh, you can visit my website, uh, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the description is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link to visit the website and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel subscribe button is just below this video thank you for the topic what is a renal arteriography you know you know the renal arteriography which is also known as the renal angiography you know uh, it's a test which gives your doctors the way to see the blood vessels in your kidneys you know and your blood vessels don't uh, show up on uh, x-rays you know and they can uh, make it difficult for the doctors to get an accurate image of them you know so in the anterography uh, the doctors inject a special uh, dye you know into the blood vessels and the dye also called the contrast material you know it shows up on the x-rays and the procedure uh, uh, allows the doctor to see your veins so they will be able to see any blockages or any kind of clots or any narrowing of the blood vessels and any other problems in the kidneys you know. okay so uh, anteriographies uh, can be done on many parts of the body you know but uh, in this we are talking about the renal uh, anteriographies you know and the term renal means kidneys you know so the renal anteriography is one that highlights the like uh, renal blood vessels you know so doctors can uh, view it and uh, they can find any kind of uh, blockage or any abnormalities or any narrowing of the blood vessels in the kidneys so the renal uh, anteriography is the test for the renal blood vessels. Now, the next thing is uh, why do doctors order this test? You know, well, typically, this procedure is ordered if you have the problems with the blood vessels in your kidneys, and uh, uh, possible problems may include like uh, blood clots or maybe the blockages or the narrowing and the like the abnormal structures, you know, uh, spasm in the blood vessels and uh, tumors or maybe the high blood pressure in the vessels, you know, or uh, widened or the like uh, the blood vessels, you know. And if uh, you have the kidney disease uh, or the kidney failure, you know, in that case, your doctor will perform this procedure to help to monitor the condition, you know, and they may also use this. Uh, to like uh, assess the extent uh, like extent of these conditions you know to know how severe the condition is you know and uh, what for the preparation for this test you know well in general your doctor will ask you uh, not to eat or drink anything for roughly eight hours before the test you know and uh, your doctor uh, you know, the instructions uh, may vary from doctor to doctor, you know. And in some cases, you may need to, like, uh, begin your fast as early as uh, uh, midnight uh, before the uh, test, you know. And uh, tell your doctor if you're taking any kind of the medications, you know, uh, like over-the-counter medications or any other medications, you know, that you're taking, maybe prescription or over-the-counter medication or any kind of uh, supplements, you know. Or herbal medications you know so uh, tell your doctor you know and uh, especially if you're taking aspirins which is a blood thinner you know and it can in, it can affect your blood's ability to clot you know so your doctor may tell you to temporarily stop these medications for a few days and then you can continue after the procedure you know if they are very important you know and you should also tell your doctor uh, if you have any allergies to the any medications any latex you know or maybe uh, iodine substances like dye you know and uh, uh, like any anesthetics or maybe any contrast dyes you know 
So in that case, you should tell your doctor in advance, you know, and make sure that uh, you let your doctor know if you are pregnant, you know, uh, or if you are breastfeeding, you know. So the low levels of the radiation involved in this procedure are not usually uh, considered uh, dangerous, you know, or harmful, you know, but still uh, your doctor might decide that uh, this is too risky for the fetus which is developing inside your womb, you know, and postpone this for until you are, you deliver the baby, you know, or once you, you stop the breastfeeding, you know. Uh, so current shot is that uh, if you are breastfeeding or you are pregnant it's very important that you mention to your doctor okay and the next thing is uh, how do the doctors perform this procedure you know when you arrive uh, for the procedure uh, you will need to sign a consent form and change into the hospital gown you know and uh, the consent means that uh, your doctor has explained to you the, any risk factors which are involved, you know, which may happen, you know, any emergencies which may arise, you know. And your doctor will ask you uh, to remove any jewelry or any kind of other uh, metals, you know. And uh, in most cases, uh, you will receive uh, a sedation, you know, before the uh, procedure. And this the purpose is to keep you as relaxed or as calm as possible, you know. And uh, this will not make you unconscious you will be awake or you will be relaxed you know and your doctor will then insert a, a narrow tube uh, called catheter into your artery you know and uh, they will inject a dye through this tube and before injecting the dye uh, your doctor has to get the catheter into the right position you know so they do this by carefully guiding it through your blood vessels until they reach to the aorta you know and when the catheter is in position, they will inject the dye and your doctor will take multiple x-rays as the dye travels through the blood vessels, you know. And uh, the dye makes the vessels appear on the x-ray so that your doctor uh, uh, can see if there is any blockage or if there is any narrowing or if there is any other deformity, you know. So your doctor can visualize, okay. And in some cases, your doctor may choose to treat the problem during the procedure, you know. And uh, for example, if uh, they find a clot or they find any tumor, you know, they may inject the medication on the spot to help uh, treat it, you know. And once the doctor is finished, the catheter will be removed, okay. And uh, then uh, uh, the spot where the, uh, he inserted the, uh, that catheter, you know, uh, he will put a bandage on that, a different pressure as well, you know just to stop the bleeding. The next thing is about any risk factors of the renal anteriography, you know. Most days are fairly safe, you know, and uh, the complications are rare. Serious complications are rare, you know. But there is a possibility of uh, allergic reaction to the contrast material or maybe to the other injections, you know, and uh, medications, you know. But they are rare as well and there are small chances of uh, like infections or the blood clots or the nerve injury or maybe the bruising you know or damage to the artery you know or maybe infection you know and bleeding and most doctors believe that the radiation levels involved in this test it's uh, fairly safe you know and the radiation may be more of risk for the developing fetus you know so that's why they always ask you are you pregnant or not, you know. And make sure yet to tell the doctor if you are pregnant. Now, the next thing is what happens after the test, you know. Well, after your renal angiography, you will need some time to recover from sedation, you know. And uh, you should not drive for up to 24 hours after the procedure. So, you should arrange someone to pick you up after the procedure and uh, avoid any guys kind of uh, heavy lifting or any exercises for about a week you know and your doctor may give you the additional instructions uh, before they discharge you from the hospital you know 
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel. And subscribe button is just below this video. Thank you and goodbye. <clears> Thank <throat> you.